new stick insect enclosure. Hello and welcome back to Jack's Mini Zoo and today I'm going to be showing you how I'm making uh, a new stick insect enclosure for my giant prickly stick insects. So first off I'm just going to show you what my giant prickly stick insects look like. So let me just get one out. So these are my giant prickly stick insects or leaf insects. Um, this is a male. So as you can see they're big already. They are just about the same size as my Indian stick insects at the moment which are one of the smaller in stick insects but these, as in their name, will get very big. So that's why I'm going to be building them a 50 by 30 by 30 um, like enclosure. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Okay, so let me just put him on my shoulder. Come on. There we go. Okay, so he'll just stay there throughout the whole thing and might move around a bit. But, so I'll show you what I've done. So what I've done already is I've made the back. So the back isn't going to be mesh, but all the all the other sides will be. So this is how tall it's going to be, 50 centimetres. I didn't want it to be too small, but then I didn't want it to be too big, so I thought 50 centimetres is quite a nice size. So that's how big. So it's a bit of plywood with two, with a, a just smaller bits of wood, and I've just drilled them in at the back here. And then what? This is the back. And then what I'm planning on doing is I've got lots of bits of cork bark. So what I'm planning on doing is stacking the cork bark up to make it look like a tree. So I just put it so like that. So I quite like it how it's kind of left a little bit. And I might paint that a different colour. I might not. And then I'm also I've also got some uh, wood varnish which will look really nice if I just uh, cover all of the wood in wood varnish. But So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to be doing, uh, I think, cutting these. So because these have a curve in them, I'm going to be cutting these so they're completely flat. So it'll be so much easier to either glue or drill these on. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do yet. But um, yeah, so that's the background. I'm going to put, so this, uh, this is what it's going to look like at the end this is a uh, well so what's here right now this is a metal version which you can actually buy but I'm going to be doing like a wooden version and that's kind of what I'm going off of so I've also already done the front which I haven't got with me at the moment but it's pretty much the same as the as the back but I've got a hole uh, cut a hole out with a jigsaw which uh, which makes it like that and I'm not going to have a door on the front the, the top bit will actually be able to be taken off so I can reach in and do whatever I need to do, change the water, change the uh, plants, do whatever I need to do with that um, by going through the top instead of through the, through the front. And then it's all going to be fly mesh and I have a lot of fly mesh with me. Uh, fly mesh is very good, it's the same as the stuff that's already on top of the enclosures that you usually get. So that's going to be all the way around the sides and the top as well. Oh yeah, he's still on my, still on my chest. It's going to be all the way around the sides and the top, so they need it on the top so they can actually hang off and shed their skin. It's very important for them to do that. But then once these are actually in their enclosure, it's going to go right here where this old enclosure is. And then these Indian stick insects will go into the giant prickly stick insects old enclosure. So that means I'll have a tank free, but it's only a small aquarium, so there's nothing that really can go in it. But yeah, so that's just a quick update. Um, that's literally that's it for the video thank you for watching uh, this video if you want to see part two uh, make sure to check it out it'll be out in a couple of days make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time